Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Jack and Glenn channel. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of our reviews. Today, right, we're going to talk about and we're going to dive into the success rate of Married at First Sight. If you don't know what Married at First Sight is, right, Married at First Sight is a reality TV show where couples meet for the very first time at the altar, right? They're being matched by a panel of relationship experts in an experiment in love and compatibility that both is thrilling and also a train wreck for those who, uh, us, the fans who watch it, right? It can be ups and downs. You can have highs and lows. We have our favorite couples. And so it is what it is, right? So Married at First Sight, but they do have a success rate, right? So now let's talk about the numbers over the years, right? Married at First Sight has been, has since uh, its share, since it started, right? Has had its fair share of couples to tie the knot. But the big question is, how many of these marriages actually last, right? According to the data, right, success rate from the show varies from season to season. Some seasons have seen higher success rates. The others, which eh, some seasons have seen terrible success rate, right, which factors a lot. We talk about compatibility. We talk about communication. We talk about commitment. We talk about people who want to be there, who don't want to be there, people who are there just for the show. Um, all these play significant roles in the outcome of the success rate of married at first sight, right? It weighs a big difference. It weighs a lot on where the couple stay married, their background, the, uh, the compatibility. We even had a guy who had been married before on married at first sight, right? Y'all remember season 11, Eric from Atlanta, uh, I think 11, yeah, from Atlanta was on married at first, had been married before, ended up marrying Virginia. But let's dive into it, right? The success rate, right? Over the 16 seasons of Married at First Sight, I know 17 is going on now. Uh, it's not totally complete when I did this video. So over the first 16 seasons of Married at First Sight, 64 couples have been matched. That's right. 64 couples have been matched. 37 of them, right, mutually chose to stay married on decision day. 37 percent, 37 of them stay married on, on decision day. That's 58 percent of them, right, decide to stay married on decision day. Which <laughs> one out one third of them, two third of them, has since said divorce, right? So the fifty eight percent that said we're gonna stay together on decision day, two thirds of them have been divorced or filed for divorce, and a now <laughs> have been filed for divorce. That leaves only eleven couples still married, right? 11 couples married, making a current success rate of married at first sight at a whopping 17%, right? A whopping 17% of those couples who ever stepped on the show, out of those 64 couples that ever stepped on the show, only 17% of them stayed married, which is 11 couples, right? 11 couples. Here, here's a, here we go. Season one, uh, we, had Jer we had Jamie Otis, right? Jamie and Doug, Jamie and Doug said yes, right? They're still married uh, to this day, um, married at first, from married at first sight. Uh, matter of fact, Jamie just announced uh, that they were having twins, right? She already had, um, they already had two children, and they just announced that they're having twins. Uh, so they stayed together on married at first sight. And when married at first sight started, they only had three couples, right? They had three couples. They were, Jamie and Doug wasn't the only couple to say yes on the first season of Married at First Sight. Uh, you had Courtney Hendricks and Jason Karani. Uh, also said yes, but eventually they both divorced uh, later on in the show. Season two of Married at First Sight, you had Jacqueline Matthew and Ryan uh, both said yes on decision day. Uh, you also had Jessica and another Ryan say yes on decision day, and they both are divorced until the day. So nobody from season two uh, is still married, right? Uh, then on season three, what you had, you have Vanessa Nelson and, 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 and our buddy Trey, right? This was the, when they was in Atlanta. On season three, you had Vanessa and Trey, the only two couples that, the only two people who said yes on decision. They only couple that they survived marriage on yes, but eventually they end up being, end up divorcing as well uh, on Married for on season three of Married at First Sight. Season four, you had Sonia uh, and Nick both say yes, right? On, on Married at First Sight and later on get divorced, right? On season five, right? Season five, Chicago, we didn't survive. You had, this is the first season where every couple, every couple, I want you, I want to hear this. Season five, trivia question for later down the road. Season five is the only, only episode, is the first season where everybody said yes on Married at First Sight but only one couple survived, and that was Ashley and Anthony, right? Ashley and Anthony was the only couple from season five of Married at First Sight to say to say yes and to stay married. Currently, they have two children uh, doing very well. You can follow Anthony on uh, social media, on Instagram. He's always talking about Married at First Sight. But they were the first 
they, this was the first season where every couple stayed married. Uh, well, said yes on decision day, but then eventually got divorced. All right. And then we go to season six, right? We got Shawnee and Jepty, right? Season six, Boston for the very first time. They said yes on decision day, and they're currently still married until this day. Uh, have one child, uh, baby Laura, and they're doing a great, great job, right? Um, season seven, a uh, married at first sight. You have Dan, uh, you another season. See, everybody said yes, right? Everybody was surprised that everybody said yes on season seven of Married First Sight because it got off to a rocky start with Mia being arrested. But me and even me, even me and Tristan said yes. Uh, Danielle and Bobby said yes. Amber and Dave all said yes. And but the only couple that's still married from season seven of Married First Sight is Danielle and Bobby from season seven. That was in Dallas, right? Season eight, uh, Philadelphia, one of my favorite seasons, right? Philadelphia season, we saw, we saw a, we saw three. This is when they see they moved from three couples to four couples, right? They moved from three couples. Married at first sight was three. They moved from three couples to four couples, and we saw AJ and Stephanie both say yes on uh, decision day, and we also saw Christine and Keith both say yes on decision day and truth be told both of these couples are still married together married till this day and they're going strong right chris and christine aj and stephanie season nine of married at first sight down in charlotte north carolina right uh we saw jamie and Doug, we saw jamie uh, and Beth uh, say yes on decision day, but they're currently getting a divorce. And we, that's a whole different video we could go into about Jamie and Beth, the explosive relationship and how they currently now are getting divorced. But we saw Deanna and Greg uh, both say yes. And they're currently married now, have one child, baby Declan, uh, and they're doing well uh, together. Season 10 of Married at First Sight. They went to DC, the nation's capital, DC, right? Washington, DC. Two couples end up saying yes, right? On 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 this on this season of Married at First Sight, you had Katie and Derek who both say yes on decision day, and then you had Jessica and Austin who said yes on decision day. And Katie and Derek got or get, Katie and Derek got divorced. Katie actually is remarried right now. Currently in the relationship, she's currently remarried. Uh, Derek there is not question marks about him. But Jessica and Austin just announced recently that they are having a second child, right? They're having a second child. So DC had one successful couple as well. Season 11 of Married at First Sight, right? They went down to New Orleans, right? <laughs> the Big Easy. <laughs> they had couple, several couples, right, on this season. One of them, this is the First season, second season, they did went to five couples, right? They went DC was the first season where they went to five couples. Alas, season eleven, the COVID season, right? Uh, they went also was on five couples, uh, and we had three couples who actually said yes. A million Bennett uh, said yes on decision day. Uh, you had Karen and Miles who said yes on decision day. Uh, then you had Amani and Woody who said yes on decision day. And Amani and Woody are the only couple that is still currently married, right? Uh, Miles and Karen is in the process of getting divorced if it had not been final already. Uh, Woody and um, Amani are still married, have two children, uh, doing well. All right, season 12, right? Season 12, they went back to Atlanta, <laughs> back to Atlanta. Uh, and in Atlanta, you had uh, you, what you had on here, you had three couples out of three out of, actually you had four, four out of the five couples. I think this is the season, this is the season where everybody was like, yo, people just stand around for the paychecks, right? Uh, we have four out of the five couples uh, stay together on here. You have Brianna and Vincent who stay together, Claire and Ryan who stay together, and you had Erica, I mean, er Erica, Eric, uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, who had been married before in Virginia, stay together as well. But only one couple survived, that's Brianna and Vincent, who survived this season of Married at First Sight. Uh, they still currently married to this day. Uh, Bri um, Brianna and Vincent have a child together as well. Claire and Ryan, that's the sex, uh, sex gate lying on TV about having sex, not having sex, uh, end up being getting divorced. And Eric and Virginia got divorced not much longer after the show uh, ended. Uh, season 13 of Married at First Sight, they went to Houston, right? Uh, Houston, Texas. Uh, two couples stayed together for a while, right? That was Rachel and Jose. Uh, and then you have Merely and Gil, uh, who both said yes on decision day. And they eventually, both of these couples eventually started, eventually divorced. So again, season 13 had nobody who is currently married 
from that season. Season 14, they went to Boston. Another season where people were like, you know what? These people right here, all these people said yes, just to get extra paychecks, just to get a little sale on TV a little bit longer. Uh, this is a season where we saw one of the fastest divorces ever, right? Uh, we saw Alyssa and Chris not even make it off the honeymoon. If you watch the season of Boston, didn't even make it off the honeymoon. Uh, they were out the door much quickly. Uh, we saw ja uh, Jasmina and Michael both say yes on decision day, but they ended up divorcing a little bit later. Uh, Katina and uh, Elijah Wan uh, said yes on decision day, but then we found, and then they got together, broke up, got together, broke up, but now they are divorcing as well. <clears throat> we saw Lindy and Mark the Shark uh, stay together for just a little while, uh, but after that, she couldn't take it. And by the time we got to the reunion, they were divorced. They was out of there, done deal, over. And then you saw Noy and Steve, right? Uh, which people thought was gonna make it. They thought Noy and Steve was gonna go strong and make it, but didn't last did not last they end up being divorced as well so season 14 of boston nobody survived everybody's been divorced here season 15 of married at first sight we saw uh san diego season right this is one was uh kind of interesting right we saw stacy and nate uh both say yes on decision day right alexis and justin both said yes on decision day but ended up getting the divorce at late data a, a, a day later right um we saw Lindy and Miguel both say yes on decision day, and um, that one didn't last as well. It didn't last that long. Neither Nate and Stasha also didn't last as well. Uh, so season 15 of Married at First Sight saw nobody survive. And then we saw season 16 of Married at First Sight. And, uh, uh, you know, you had a cu couple couples that was on there. You thought only couple that said both, only couple that said yes, and we knew this from day one with Nicole and Chris, right? And Nicole and Chris both said yes on decision day. Uh, they married. And currently at the time of this video, they still married today and they're going strong. Season 17 of Married at First Sight, we uh, right now that's going on. The success rate should drop because all five couples, if you have not heard, spoiler alert, uh, all five couples said no, right? So there's nobody on Married at First Sight. Uh, season 17 uh, that said yes couple wise on decision day all five couples decided to split on uh, on married at first sight so let me give me your thoughts of uh what you think about the success rate of marriage married at first sight will season 18 and 19 be better uh they are contracted they'll go through all the way through season 19 season 18 which will be coming up uh, is going to be in chicago right chicago the noise they're going back to chicago and season 19 is scheduled to be in austin Texas. So we'll see if the success rate can be much better on this uh, on Married at First Sight. But hey, all those Married at First Sight heads continue. We can continue to watch the show. We like the show and we hope the batches are better and we hope the experts do a better job uh, of selecting these folks so the success rate could go up. So once again, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification. Let me thought. Let me know your thoughts. Who was your favorite couple? Which couple do you think should have stayed married on Married at First Sight? Uh, and we might do a show where we do a uh, repairing and see if these couples would, would have stayed together from their season. Once again, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification. We appreciate you for rocking with us. Thank you very much. And we'll catch you guys uh, just a little bit later. Once again, if you're new to this channel, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of our upcoming reviews, interviews, or live shows. Talk to you later. Peace.